Hi, welcome everyone. Lisa from the Relativity of Paper. Today I'm going to be sharing a fun stamping technique using Crafting Desert Divas Botanical Layer Stamps. I'll be sure to link all the products below for you. So here's the stamp set and I've gone ahead and done a little bit of stamping just to show you how they layer up. And I've used the Stargazer Lily here and you'll see they layer so nicely. Now with this stamp set you're going to get a lot of extra stamps, a leaf, you're going to get the stamens for the flowers, and you're also going to get some detail stamps. You're going to get a cactus flower, a hibiscus, and a stargazer lily. They each come with three stamps so that you'll have three layers when you're stamping. So here's the original card that I did with this technique, and you'll see that I just randomly laid the leaves wherever and just stamped them straight on top of the flowers. On this one, we're going to do a little bit of masking with that leaf. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab my Mini Misty and lay my stamp down. I'm working with the cactus flower and you want to work with the solid stamp image here. So I grab some picked raspberry distress ink and I go ahead and I stamp that image down. And don't worry if you don't get a full image stamped, that's okay. Because what you wanna do is take a watercolor brush and some clean water and lay it directly onto your stamp there. Once you do that, go ahead and lay that back down and let the water react with the ink on the paper. And don't push too hard on it. Just let it do its own thing. And then lift the lid and you'll see how you're going to get this beautiful effect. Now, in between moving your stamp, you want to be sure that you clean it off so that you don't end up with any oopsies. I'm going to use this same technique and add leaves to my uh, watercolor paper using Twisted Citron Distress Ink and I'm using post-it notes to do a little bit of masking. Now I wanted to keep this card a little bit neater so that's why I decided to mask the flowers instead of just going ahead and stamping them randomly. So there's the technique and if you want you can stop there. I'm going to actually take the center to this flower and some mustard seed distress ink and stamp the centers of the flowers. Now I'm going to use hickory smoke distress ink and I'm going to add some little speckles. Now these speckles are actually a part of the stargazer lily stamp and I love to use them as little details. So I just use that hickory smoke distress ink, stamp it off a couple of times because I want those to be really light. Next I'm taking the outline for the cactus flower and I'm just stamping it randomly around those flowers with some more picked raspberry ink. I'm going to do the same thing with the leaf and the twisted citron. I'm using the outline to the leaf and just randomly stamping on the leaves in there. Um, and I'm not keeping it neat. I'm going a little bit off center with that. So now that we're done stamping, what I wanted to do was add a little bit of sparkle to my card. And I'm using Fine Tech Watercolor. It's the gold silver palette. Love these watercolors. So I just lay some on an acrylic block and I flick it onto my um, watercolor paper with a brush. So, so now we're ready to move on to do some die cutting and I'm going to be using Crafting Desert Divas Fancy Frame Dies and you'll see here I've centered it up because I want to save that outer edge for a frame for a shaker card. I've also done some die cutting with the greeting word dies from Crafting Desert Divas and I use the thanks. Now I did one in a black cardstock and one in a gold and I'm going to put these two together. I'm using a quickie glue pen to add some glue to the back of that gold thanks. And once I have that all down on there, I'm going to stick the two of those together and then lay um, a couple of acrylic blocks on top of them while I work on my card. So for my card base, I'm using some 110 pound cardstock by Coordinations, and I, it's four and a quarter by five and a half inch temp fold. I'm also using some craft paper from my stash that had some uh, black script on it. So I also added some 3D mounting tape to the back of my watercolor image and added that to the card base. And there you'll see I ran my thanks sentiment through my Xyron sticker maker. I'm going to use my embossing tool to run around that to make sure that all the adhesive is out of the little uh, cracks and crevices. And then I'm going to add that to the front of the card. 
So here's the card. I'm going to add some pink droplets to the front of it, but I also wanted to show you the frame that um, I spoke of earlier, and I'm going to use that later on to create a shaker card. So now here are the little pink droplets, and they're new to Crafting Desert Diva's store, and I like to use mini glue dots to um, adhere mine to my cards. So what I'll do is just grab three out of the bag, and then I'm going to take my mini glue dots and stick my droplet straight down onto my glue dot and then add it to my card. So here are both of the cards that I created using this technique. Um, thanks for joining me and I hope you join me again.